Hey everyone, welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Cardwell. And today we're back with a new fun control list. It's called Brutal Submission. And uh, we're playing one of the one of the like second rulers of the uh, the new sets. We're going back to our baby girl Valentina. Yeah, she doesn't really get much love, so yeah. we're gonna show her some. But before we get into it, guys, we just remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link is down below. Go check it out. It really just takes an extra dollar to give us some love and support. We'd greatly appreciate it. With that, let's check out Brutal Submission and our girl Valentina. So, she is the blue black ruler, and she's got Stranger 10 rule and Judgment 2 blue and a black, and energizes a blue and a black. Uh, whenever a water regalian is in the field under your control, choose one. If it is lover's lock, you choose two. And then the first one is choose a stranger at random and put it in your hand. Return target resonator to its owner's hand. Or target resonator's attack becomes zero until the end of the turn. Or judgment is zero. And for the most part, you're going to want to choose get a stranger and attack is zero. Just because she does a lot with attack is zero in this deck. And that's kind of what we're here for. Uh, her judgment side, she is a 6-12. With resonators, your opponent's control get minus four, minus zero, oh, which just, is pretty awesome. Just basic. That's it. Uh, enter, put the top card of your magic stone deck into the field, rested, and then binding chain, which is a blue and a black, remove target resonator from the game. Search your opponent's deck, graveyard in hand for all cards that share a name with that resonator, and remove them from the game as well. Then shove your opponent's deck, choose a card from the stranger deck at random, and put it in your hand. So, two mana, you get to kill all copies of one creature and get a free creature yourself. Which is pretty nice. I kind of wish they did just actually whatever spell in general, but yeah, that's fine too. Um, but she does have the 10 strangers in the stranger deck. First one we got is Amon, the Demon Prince of Conspiracy, and he is a black for a 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, as, as this card enters the field, you may pay any amount of life. This card enters the field with a 1-1 one, one counter on it for each 100 life paid this way. Draw a card for each 700 life paid this way. So he's there to give you a whole lot of counters to make him pretty big and draw you some cards. And he's mostly in this deck for another card that we'll get to. Uh, the next one we got is Blue Wizard. She is one blue, quick cast, 6-6, six, six, enter, cancel target automatic ability of a resonator. We're playing control, so you're going to want to have some sort of a Loride because it's just really strong. Exactly. Uh, next up is Faust, the Promising Warrior. He is two green, two black, and one for a 14-14 with Bane and Drain. Uh, you pay a black, put a Promise counter on target resonator you control, play this ability only if he's in your graveyard. Uh, only if Faust is in the graveyard. And then whenever a resonator or, uh, with a promise counter is put into a graveyard from the field, put this card from the graveyard into the field. So, yeah. this is a lot more difficult to get into the graveyard, but if you do, it's a recurring dude. Always. Yeah, always. Completely. Uh, next up is Shade, and this is probably the best person to put <clears throat> that counter on, because Shade likes to die a lot. Oh yeah. Um, and it is a black and one for a 6-6 six, six with Bane. Enter, your opponent banishes resonator. Whenever this card is put into a graveyard from the field, your opponent banishes another resonator. <laughs> Simple enough. Yeah, so we're killing all the dudes with that guy. Uh, next is Undying the Spirit. Uh, blue and one for a quick cast 7-7 seven, seven with flying, and then return up to three target non-J resonator non-magic stone entities to their owner's hands. So this is there just to help you bounce your own regalias back, actually, to get more triggers off of the ability. So it's, it's kind of nice on that regard. All right, and the first resonator is Joe Monger, the Eater of Worlds. This cute little guy is back. It's a one drop, four, four. So, here we go. When there, this game is plus five, plus five for each growth counter on it. When this card attacks, you may remove a gluttony counter from it. If you do remove target resonator from opponent controls from the game, just like that. I never got to swing with them, though. That's kind of weird. <laughs> Awakening two. This card enters the battlefield with a growth counter. Awakening blue. This card enters the field with a gluttony counter. So, that's how you get those. Banish a water magic stone, put a growth counter or gluttony counter on this card, play this ability only during your turn and only once per turn. So you can't just immediately sack everything and swing for game. Yeah, I, I wish you could. This dude would be so much more powerful if you could. But he's still extremely powerful. He is still fun. really good. Um, he is there to help this guy out a lot, and this dude actually is going to do a lot more, I think, than I, I originally thought. Uh, Deus Ex Mach Machina, God of Machines. He is a blue and a green for a 0-0. Zero, zero. And he comes into play, you remove any number of counters from entities you control. This card enters the field with a 1-1 counter on it, equal to twice the number of counters removed this way. And as long as there are 10 or more on him, he gains Flying Eternal and he can remove a 1-1 counter to put a 1-1 counter on a creature, or put a 1-1 counter on something or a counter with the name of your choice on another entity you control. Yeah. So, this dude's kind of be, he's, he's kind of like a weird utility creature. He can end the game himself by just being big yeah 
or he can help all your other dudes that need counters in this deck or all your other cards that need counters because the main thing with him is he eats any counter he doesn't care what counter it is so like Amon comes with one one counters Jormonger comes in with growth and gluttony counters so you can eat all those yep. and there's a couple there's another enchantment or an addition that has counters all kinds of stuff in this deck gives you weird counters that you'd be like nom all these counters he gets big yeah yeah he, he sucks them all up and then trans he makes them into one one counters yeah. which is pretty cool all right, and probably not something they thought about when they made him, to be honest. Yes, yeah, yeah. Next up is Mary Bella. It's a blue and a green, 6-6. Six, six. Enter, search your deck for a machine, Rebella, and put it in your hand, shuffle your deck. And then, pay blue, discard this card, search your deck, name Mary Bella type 0, reveal it, put it in your hand, then shuffle your deck. And then also, if you remove this card from the graveyard from the game, put a soul calendar on Mary Bella type 0. So basically, she's useful in every single zone that's possible. Yeah, again, she gives you a soul counter on your Mary Bells that you can eat because yep. he can replace that soul counter later when you need it. And her search ability can either go get uh, Deus Ex or the other machine that we have. So yep. it's kind of nice. Uh, we are playing Sigurd, the Covenant King, and he is a black green for an 8 8. Play this card only from your graveyard. The zombies you control gain Bane. Search your deck for a Darkness Edition, total cost 2 or less, and put it into the field. We are not playing Alter Combo. So he's not going to be as broken in this deck, just know that. Yeah. But he's going to be relatively useful for what we need. Next one is Brutal Majin. It's Darkness 3, 10-10. It has Bane. And if your opponent controls a J Resonator with attack 0 or less, you may pay 3 less to play this card, so it can just be 1. Enter, destroy target Resonator with attack 0 or less, so therefore Regalia, then play this, and then kill a dude. Simple as that for super cheap. Also, like, every Resonator has Bane, it seems like. Yeah. So it's kind of nice. Uh, next up is the addition that you go get with Sigurd, and it is Laboratory of the Forbidden Arts, which is one black. Tap, destroy target resonator with attack zero or less. Put a Forbidden Arts counter on this card. Tap, remove a Forbidden Arts counter, draw a card. So we have quite a few regalias to make them go to zero attack, and so it's going to be helpful to just be like, hey, regalia, kill your dude, just put a counter on this. Straight up. And you can eat all the counters from that thing as well if you need to, just to be like, hey, cool. Deus Ex is real big. Yeah, simple as that. The next one, the, Pre the Betrayer Returns. It's a one blue quick cast. It has Remnant as well. So target J Resonator gains minus eight, minus zero until in turn. So therefore you can just make it zero and go down and kill a dude. Uh, next is Wall of Ideas. It is one blue quick cast. It's Mage Art as well. Target Resonator either gets minus eight, minus zero, oh, or plus zero, plus eight. So it's another one of the spells that just helps you neg negate an attack so you can kill them easily. First thing is, uh, of course, the first uh, regalia is Lover's Lock. That's a black and one, or a black and blue quick cast. Mythic. Tap, produce two wheels of any combination of blue and black. Spend this only to play God's Art abilities, Strangers, or Mage Arts. So they're four and also triggers all the other stuff. Mm -hmm. And the second blue one we have is Maribel Type Zero, which is a blue and a green for a mythic. Your J Ruler gains barrier. And then tap, produce uh, any combo of blue green. Spend this only for God's Arts, Strangers, or Sword Arts. And pay zero, this card becomes a 10 10 resonator until the end of turn. Play its ability only if there's a soul counter on it. So, your Mary Bellas help get soul counters on this to help you attack with it if you need to. Um, but he's mostly there to just be a machine to give you barrier and to help uh, play strangers. Yeah. The, the fact that uh, Valentina makes all your dudes smaller and you can make her barrier yeah. is super powerful since there's like two or three drop spell, kill spells that kills Jade resonators like yeah. that. Next one is Space Time Anomaly, one of the strongest cards ever. Uh, black and a blue, quick cast, remnant. Target J Resonator gains minus 500, minus 500 until end of turn, and you draw a card, so you don't waste anything. Yeah, two mana, all the abilities. Especially when you remnant, because it's in the graveyard, you basically gain a card and uh, potentially kill a dude. Yeah, and it's a mage art, so Lover's Lot can play it easily. Yeah, just which like is super, super handy. Easy tap. Uh, that is it for the actual cards in the deck. Uh, the stones, they are all blue. Well, almost all blue. Uh, we have Magic Stone of the Black Silence, which is the black green one. Uh, we have Magic Stone of Dark Depths and Magic Stone of the Deep Wood. I chose not to use Adirectus Memoria just because if you need to sack your blue stones, which all these some of these count as blue stones to Jormunger, you can. Yeah, there you go. It's. I don't know if it's going to be necessary in this deck, but if you need to, you have the ability to. Yeah, might as well keep all your options open. Yeah. Overall, this deck's going to be super fun. It's going to be super annoying to play against just because it's got so much control in it. Um, but I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I've always liked Valentina as a ruler. I think she's gonna, she has potential. It's just we need to figure out what that potential is. Yeah. 
Um, but with that, guys, the deck list will be down below. Go check it out. Leave a like and leave a comment, and we will see you all again next time. Goodbye. Bye. Also, guys, we just remind you all to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you want to keep up to date on all the future content, make sure you click that bell. It will give you all the notifications you need. With that, we'd like to go ahead and give a big thank you to all our fans that support us through the year, and especially our Patreon support people. Uh, we do like to give a shout-out to our Mythic and Above uh, supporters, and that would be Dwayne Higgs. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. We love you.